Did I mention this is my first time doing this? So, learning. What we are looking at right here is probably 20 to 30 year old fuel lines, probably the actual original fuel line. So I got this kit from Van, V-A-N, A-G-A-I-N. Van, again, a little play on words. Uh, Ken's been in the industry for a super, super long time. This is not a sponsorship deal or anything like that. Anyway, I got this fuel line set up. Um, it's about 10 feet of hose. Um, I got the grommets and the actual injectors. Uh, seals because check this out like these are just gross. They're super rotted out Definitely gonna get a fuel leak and the grommets themselves are also Really really damaged. So I got the entire fuel kit from van again um, And now I'm installing this sheathing right here. Ken said it's totally cool to reuse this plastic anti-chafing stuff, but I don't like the way it looks it doesn't clean up well and I went out and got this product right here. I used the exact same company to wrap my exhaust manifold and I freaking love it. Um, so now I'm just using this. Um, it's supposed to cover up like spark plugs and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's the same diameter as my fuel line. So we're just gonna go with that. Let's see how pretty it's gonna look. So let's do it. Well, that was super easy. All you had to do was just cut this titanium cloth um, and the best way to do it I found was with these tin snips right here cut the cloth um, it said there was four feet in that and um, four feet is very deceiving uh, I thought I was gonna have enough I do not have enough so I'm gonna have to go out and get more but I'm gonna continue um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go SD part right here and what that is is a bushing that goes into the firewall. This would be your plastic line, uh, looks like a quarter inch, and then this would be your uh, fuel line at maybe a half inch diameter. What it is doing, it's actually replacing this plastic firewall bushing right here, um, which from what I found and researched online, these are one of the main issues for vehicle van fires. Um, and look at look how stiff this hose is like it doesn't even want to bend. I'm giving it pressure right now So these hoses definitely need to be replaced along with this bushing to the left is the old to the right is the new one And I'm not sure if you are aware, but I'm using two different style of clamps right here are the stainless steel worm clamps or band clamps supplied with the Vanigan kit. And I have them on all of my fittings um, and junctions and whatnot. And Go Westy actually supplies the German style crimp. The school of thought is these are supposed to be uh, superior, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not. Um, I know while I worked for Mercedes Benz, these were definitely on every single fuel line, um, but well, I digress. I'm not sure if they are the best or not. Um, but if you were to clamp these together, you need to have a special crimping tool. All right, so we're under Noreen right now. This is the hard plastic line right here. This is this is actually your fuel supply line. Um, so I pulled it out of the firewall, which is in that area right there. There was a uh, half inch plastic or sorry there was a half inch rubber tube that went from here to here and then attached to that plastic line but what go westy wants you to do jam this little bugger in there to get a nice solid connection so that's what we're gonna do okay with a little bit of cussing heat and perseverance it's installed so now I gotta get this through the firewall which is this little hole right up here. Let's do that now without hurting anything or breaking anybody. Go up top. <clears throat> okay, 
comes. And it's gonna come through here. We have that bushing installed now. A uh, better look maybe. So we got it installed. Um, I left the line a little long because I'm not sure exactly how I wanna route it. Uh, next I'm gonna install the breather tower that I got from vanagain.com. The original one was really damaged, um, just worn out. It looked like it was actually melting. I don't believe I still have it. I think I chucked it, but anyway, let's get this new breather tower in. I can't tell you how happy I am. These things look amazing. Screams race car, even though we all know it's not a race car. Get these injectors in place, and then I can run this line into right here. So after a little bit of cussing and uh, scraping your fingers up real bad because you're squeezing this little little hose and you're trying to pull it off of this little little termination, I finally got it done. So here are my lines. They group together right here. There's the feed. And they're tucked away and they look really, really nice. This is actually going to sit probably like this actually I'm not sure how it's gonna tuck but they fit really nice everything is the same length and like I said I cut everything exactly how the last hoses were and uh, I found an issue so for my return line I am just that far off it is super super tight um, and the same thing goes with this return line um, I didn't take in consideration that this stack was going to be here um, and it would have fit just fine without it in the way. If we go around this way, um, we have the possibility of it chafing against here. This little guy lives right here. And that should save the hose from chafing. I just don't like the way it's run. Say so we go this way and this way, we come back this way, and then we clock it in right here. I'm not a big fan of that. Come up this way. And uh, the shitty part is, is I only have this much hose left. So let's see what we can do with this much hose. So close. This is, I'm like so close to getting this engine fired up. Literally, all I have to do is get oil, coolant, obviously burp the coolant system, which might take a while, um, get the injectors set up and plug all the connectors back in. And that's it. That's literally all I have left. And by all the connectors, mass airflow, injectors, um, coolant, sensors, O2 sensor, and I am gonna be very, very methodical and fix this grounding tree right here, because this is just ugly. It's all rotted away and whatnot, so I wanna make sure my grounds are really good. But that's that's how close I am to getting Noreen fired up. <sighs> so I'm just getting a little frustrated, but I'm just gonna put the camera down, try to figure this shit out. Fuck! As per usual, losing daylight, but got the fuel lines all squared away. Mind you, it's not the prettiest layout. It's not how I wanted it. I wanted it to kind of come up like this one, come up and around, come this way, this one do the same thing, go this way and back that way. Um, but looking at it, 
it works for now. Financially, just doesn't make sense to go order another 10 feet of it and pay like, you know, 60 something dollars for just one hose that I need. But I am going to do that in the future or see if I can locate that specific hose at a parts store. So as of right now, the injectors are good to go. Actually, forgot to plug these guys in. Click. Yep, that's a click. All right. We got our injectors in place right now. They're good to go. I have to uh, replace this fuel line. Uh, I don't have any more hose. So I will be ordering something uh, pretty soon, just not right now or tonight.